is why you find uh, to some situation, to some extent, some employers in the UAE do not want to recruit people with overstays. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Binks from the Binks Creation, giving all the latest updates. Uh, what do we want to talk about? Let us talk about what you call the overseas in the UAE. Employment, the contracts, the jobs, and the overseas. Yes, someone asked me about the question of the overseas, and this is what I have to let you know. Remember, overseas in the UAE is just a headache. It's not only a headache for the employees, but it's also a headache for what you call the employers. Because both of you, you get to miss out in one way or the other. But most of the times, when you see who bears much of the cost of the overseas, it is you, the employee. Remember, the more time, the more time, the accumulation of that overseas, you definitely cannot leave the country minus paying, uh, clearing up the fines. And when the fines go beyond what is expected, then definitely, you definitely know you're going to serve what you call a bigger penalty for that. And what does it happen or what, 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 what is the situation with the recruitment itself? Even when you see most of the employers do not want to recruit people who have what you call the overstays. That is why to some extent you find that before why there was a massive deportation of people is that most of the people had overstays and these, you know, and these employers were not willing to give them the opportunity, not give them the jobs. Because they are not born to get into trouble in one way or the other. They were not born to get into that trouble of the overstay fines that you're supposed to pay by yourself. And who are, and still something also you need to understand. However much to some extent, people were some people got lucky to be employed by other companies or to be uh, uh, given job by other companies when they still have overstay, when they still had overstays with the, what you call their visas or what you call their visa visas in one way or the other, then definitely the thing is that the only result of it all, that overstay charges will come back to you, the employees. Because your company is not going to want to pay as per the law, the company is not going to pay for you the overstay. So you'll pay the overstay yourself. So for to make sure that you don't fall in that trouble or you don't get beyond what you call you can expect in one way or the other, then it's better you first clear up the overstay, then you can continue to look for a job in a new company. That's when you will have a fair game to, to move on. Still something that you need to understand in one way or the other. There are some people that have had overseas, but they have not got job. And this is the time that they get a contract or you get uh, to sign a contract. You have an offer letter and a company is willing to take you up. What I can advise you, if you are really will, if you really got a company that's going to give you uh, the job and you already have an overstay with, 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 with the government or with the ministry, then definitely what you can do is submit a copy of that contract to Emma and also submit a copy of that offer letter that is being given to you by a new company, then the, the ministry will also tend to reduce on the, on the amount of overstay fine that you are supposed to pay. But short of that, if you cannot prove out yourself that you have a new job and the, the, the original documents or the documents, the supporting documents submitted, then in all cases, you'll have to pay what you call the overstay charges. Hope I've tried to answer you already. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Mix from Expression, always giving you the updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we are looking. Remember, it's coming to the end of 2022. Happy New Year to you, everyone. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you so much for supporting me, giving me the support. By the way, if you are new to this channel and coming back to this channel, don't forget to keep the subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell you'll always be updated whenever we upload a new video thank you so much see you again in the next video